This is Chris, the Idaho Painter. In this video, we're gonna show you how to properly clean an airless sprayer. Okay, we're all done painting now, and I've got my, in, this is my intake where the paint's actually coming up into it. It's in a bucket of paint right here. I've got a bucket of clean water. I'm just gonna quickly transfer that into clean water real quick, and then we're gonna begin the cleaning process. So I'm just gonna lift it up, and then quickly move it over to clean water, and now I'm gonna run all the paint out of my machine, because I don't want to waste the paint that's inside the line. I'm gonna run that into my gallon of paint. So I'm just gonna put my gun down here. I'm gonna turn my pressure down. I don't want my pressure up really high when I'm actually cleaning it and getting the paint out. So now I'm just gonna run all the paint out. And I'm typically just once I start to just see a little bit of water start to come through, I'm gonna quit, and then I'm gonna start running that, the dirty water into here. I don't wanna run any water down into my paint and thin out my paint, so look closely as you're actually running this paint out. Okay, now I've seen the water start to come through the line. Now I'm gonna switch it over. This is gonna be my dirty bucket right here. Now I'm just going to start running it out. And a lot of sprayers actually have a clean setting on the sprayer and you turn it to that clean setting and it actually cycles the, the pump up and down and it pulsates the water and it actually cleans it faster. So I'm going to set this one over to the clean setting. You'll hear the difference. Now I'll run it to clean. So you can hear it cycle up and down. That makes it clean a lot faster. So I'm just gonna keep running this here for about 30 seconds. And then my paint intake right here, I'm gonna switch this around because I wanna get that paint off my intake right here. Get it all clean off. You wanna get this all clean, just stick your hand in the water and clean it all off. Get that good and clean. You don't want paint all on there drying onto that thing. Build not. Get that thing good and clean, then we're gonna run some water again. Now, I'm typically gonna run, you know, about, about this much water out of this five gallon bucket. Then I've got another clean bucket right here. Then I'm gonna transfer this in so I can get some fresh water, because this is all murky and got some, some paint in it from the intake that had paint all over it when I dumped it in there. I'm gonna run this thing. Now I'm gonna drop it over to my other clean water because I've been cycling this quite a while now. Just dump it over to my clean water. Begin running it again. If you're wondering where I get some of my accessories for my airless sprayers, this right here, the gun extension, you can purchase them on my Amazon store, on my website, theidahopainter.com. Go check out my Amazon store. A lot of my tools and accessories, even airless sprayers, you can actually perch, purchase right on my website, on my Amazon store. Go check it out at theidahopainter.com. And then one last thing, you gotta check your prime tube right here. If you actually ran paint through this prime tube, you're gonna run clean water through that to clean that also. So I'm gonna hold on to this. Make sure you hold on to your prime tube because if you put this thing to prime, all that pressure behind here is gonna throw that prime tube up in there and it's gonna shoot paint everywhere. So I'm gonna take, turn it down. You can see it running out. There was paint in it. Now I'm going to flip it back to spray, and then I'm going to run some back through the gun again. And I'm going to keep rotating this process back and forth. Run some through the prime tube, run some through the gun. And I actually like to actually let this thing set for about five minutes, and I actually come back, and then I'll run it for about 10 to 15 seconds, and then I'll go off, do another task, then I'll walk, come back. Because what happens is the clean water inside this line helps dissolve the paint, and then it just, instead of sitting here and running it, and running it, running it, and using your pump and wearing out your pump, you're actually just letting the water dissolve the paint inside the line, and then it'll flush out a lot easier. So I'm gonna go off, do something, do some painting, do some uh, cleaning up on my job site. Then I'll come back, cycle it through the gun. And then I'll cycle it through my pine tube. And another thing I like to do is I actually like to lift my paint intake, lift it up, and when, once you start to see pure clean water come out of this tube, you know your sprayer is almost clean. So I'm gonna run it a little more. 
I'm just gonna alternate this process back and forth until I see pure clean water come out of here and pure clean water come out of there when I lift this thing up right here. Once I get this thing all clean, power shut off, I got another bucket right here. I actually like running antifreeze into my machine and up here in the winter time, it gets below freezing. I don't want my machine to freeze, so I run antifreeze, but it also has an anti-corrosive. So in the summertime, we actually run antifreeze in our machines also. We just dilute it 50-50. And so I got antifreeze right here. I'm just gonna drop my bucket. I took and emptied my dirty water out, put some clean water in, and my antifreeze is right here now. So I'm just gonna drop this into my antifreeze, put that in there, and then I'm gonna run the antifreeze so it gets, comes out the gun, and then I'm gonna run it through my prime tube. I'm gonna run some through my prime tube. Once I see the antifreeze coming through, it's all good to go. That's the simple process of how you go about cleaning the sprayer. And then when you're all done, just turn your pressure all the way down to low. You're gonna take, turn your power off, and then flip your prime, your uh, prime spray knob to prime. Let all the pressure off your prime tube, let all the pressure off your gun, and by letting the pressure off your gun, it actually makes it rolling up the hose a lot easier, and it also takes a lot of strain off of your machine by letting the pressure off the prime. You don't want to store this thing with pressure behind the, the prime spray knob inside the machine. So that's the simple process of how you go about cleaning this machine. It's very important to take care of your machines. There's also in the maintenance, you also want to lube these things. They all take a lubrication, and this one has a little uh, lubrication spot right here that you give it lube, and we typically lube them every single time we spray them or every time we use them. And that's actually, I have a video, talks about cleaning the, uh, the filters and actually lube in the machine, and it's a maintenance on airless sprayers. You can go check out that video after you're done watching this video. And when you're done watching my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you have any comments on how to effectively or efficiently clean an airless sprayer, methods and ways that you do that are different than mine, please leave them in the comments. My subscribers would like to read them and so would I.